Hey guys, Andy here. I've got what I think is quite a cool app to show you today. It's actually this little folder here, but the actual app is CAF Contextual App Folder. So basically, what this does is lets you set um, different parameters which will change what's shown inside that folder. So at the moment, you'll see it says Home underneath it because I'm at home. So when I'm at home, it puts certain apps in there. But I can have it so that when I'm at work, it changes, has a different load of apps. When I'm at the gym, it has different apps. When I plug headphones in, the different apps. So I'm going to show you how it uh, how it's done. We're going to make a new scenario. So you can have you can use a geolocation. You can use a Wi-Fi network, a Bluetooth. When it's charging, when you're in a call, all sorts of different things certain times of day. Um, so I'm going to set a new one up for when I connect my Sony headphones. And just to, so that we know, I'm only going to put Beyond Pod in there at the minute. Now, what I'm not sure what's going to happen at this point, and I could have tested before, but I thought, well, let's do it live in the video. I'm going to turn the headphones on. Do you see how quick that changed to SBH80? because that's what the name of, and there is the one app. If I wanted to, now we know that it works. Oops, cancel that. So I can rename it, first of all, BT Headphones, done. Tap on the bottom bar, and I can add in other things that I might want to run when the headphones are connected. Uh, Play music, for example. So now it's got those three. We go back, and sure enough, there they are. You can reorder the apps. Nope, not there. Order actions, so you can change. Like I like to be have an alphabetical order, for example. We can do that. You see me rename it. Um, that's pretty much it. If we go here, we get some options of how the folder is going to look, though. So you can have a variety of different. We can go to now. Oh, maybe I need to have saved that. So you get a different looking uh, folder. Uh, I prefer the pixel though. There we are. You can change background colors, borders, change the layout, and change what it looks like when it's expanded. So it's reasonably flexible. It's a fairly simple app though, to be honest, but actually really quite powerful. The only downside is because that technically is a widget, it's not actually a folder, you can't drop it down onto your in with yours. I'd love if I could do that would be awesome. Oh no, I've made a mess of it all. No mind. Uh, if I could do that, if I could have it in there so that one always changed. Oh, that'd be amazing. Um let me know if you've any ideas how you can do that. But as far as I'm aware, you can't put a widget. Maybe you can in other launches. Again, let me know in the comments down below if Nova lets you put them in along the bottom because that would be fantastic. That would be, a, to be honest, reason enough for me to switch to to Nova launcher over over Pixel launch probably. Anyways, there you go. It's contextual app folder. It's free. You might have seen. Oh, there are some sort of things I should show you real quickly. You can use icon packs. I'm not entirely sure what these bits do. I mean, home screen rotation, fair enough. It'll rotate with it, I guess. Tasker, tasker trigger, all that sort of thing. But that's it, basically. Um, there you go. Contextual, contextual app folder. It's free in the Play Store. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.